Mayor Schaff, thank you for being here and taking the time to share your vision for the fund. I'm excited to have you. Uh, my first question is, why did you establish the Open Fund for Public Innovation? Well, a lot of cities have what's called a mayor's fund, and we had gotten advice to potentially start that, but that didn't feel right to me. But I knew that we needed a vehicle to experiment, to take risks, to fail fast, and to improve how government is actually making our city better. And that's why it was exciting to not start a mayor's fund, but to start an Oakland fund and to focus it on public innovation. We talk about innovation a lot, but it doesn't always go with the public sector or with government. And this idea of experimenting on the edges of government really attacking our problems in a creative way and to look at what works with an eye to institutionalizing it and scaling it within the public systems that touch everyone. That was the idea behind the Oakland Fund for Public Innovation. And what's excited you most about the work that the fund has done thus far? You know, it has been so exciting to see so many of the fund's pilots go to permanent. Um, even small things like Paint the Town, where the Oakland Fund experimented with, how can we allow community organizations to paint murals actually on the streets? Is this something that can last? Will it help make roads safer? Can it do placemaking and pro provide pride of place? And the answer was yes. But then the city of Oakland had all the procedures, the policies, everything developed by the Oakland Fund so they could just take it and actually launch it now as a permanent program. Also the cabin communities, addressing homelessness has been one of the highest priorities, one of the most pressing needs. And we were seeing that many of our unsheltered were not taking up our offer of traditional shelter space, you know, a bunch of cots in one room where you have to pack up and go in the middle of the day. So this idea of cabin communities started out kind of controversial. Not, not everybody thought that this was an idea worth trying, but we were able to fund it privately. We stood up two demonstration sites and the outcomes were amazing. Those first two sites moved more than 70% of the residents to more stable transitional and permanent housing. The unsheltered people who were offered shelter, more than 90% took up the offer of a cabin. Now, this is the way that we do business in the city of Oakland. We've done away really with expanding the less dignified congregate shelters and are providing that privacy, uh, the ability to go to bed behind a locked door with your partner, your pets, your possessions. And then what's most exciting, Juma, is we have seen cities across the state of California replicate what we demonstrated in Oakland. So it's not just improving the lives of unsheltered residents in Oakland, but throughout California. That's amazing. Um, my last question. In and it's a bigger question. How do you see from your perspective as someone who helped establish this fund, what's the vision in your mind for how this fund can continue to, to make great strides in the city? Juma, I could talk about some of the most pressing problems in Oakland, um, illegal dumping, homelessness, the homicides and gun violence, but let's kind of talk bigger picture. Mm -hmm. um, the drive for racial equity, is so core to Oakland's mission and vision. And that is a place where I see the fund accelerating solutions and just an equity mindset to how we approach everything. And as we come out of this pandemic, uh, the fund was a key player in Oakland's COVID response. I mean, this fund had a COVID response mechanism stood up two days after lockdown. 
that was phenomenal. And the work that you did literally saved lives. But now that the federal aid, the state aid is going, going to go away uh, as we move out of pandemic mm -hmm. response to whatever we hope this you know, new normal, improved normal is going to be, we've actually built valuable infrastructure. We've learned valuable lessons. How can we keep those things going? How can we take some of what was created as a response to the pandemic, but invest in that infrastructure to continue to deliver these life-saving supports that people needed even before the pandemic mm -hmm. with food, with housing, with access to broadband and distance learning and technology. Um, this is our opportunity right now to really seize this moment and not let everything just fall off the cliff when those relief dollars go away. So I think that's an amazing opportunity. And then I hope the fund continues to keep a focus both on racial equity and on the concept of resilience. I mean, we have come mm. through one of the hardest crises the world has ever seen. Uh, talk about a reminder about the importance of resilience. But the Oakland Fund was founded with a focus on Oakland's resilience plan. And there has never been a bigger need than right now for continuing and strengthening and deepening that work. Mayor Schaff, really, really thank you for your insight for establishing this fund, for putting racial equity, resiliency at the forefront of what we do, but also really having the guts to say, innovation can be in the public sector with private dollars, and that's how we have impact at scale. Thank you so much for your time today. Really appreciate it. Thank you, Juma, for your incredible leadership. Um, the fund could not be in better hands.